Hello all, welcome back to VA Creative. This week I am mostly going to be working on my little craft mat because we are going to be using dun 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 Dina Wakely gloss sprays and only Dina Wakely gloss sprays and I have discovered that they don't stick as bad on this mat compared to every other piece of furniture that I own. So it makes for way easier cleanup. Pro tip. So I was watching the scrap time video uh, that they put out a couple months ago showing like 10 techniques to do with the gloss sprays. And the first couple ones really intrigued me. I was like, okay, scrap time, let's see, let's see if this actually works. Because you know, sometimes you see people do stuff in the video and they make it look super easy and then you try to do it and it looks like shit. So then, you know, it just throws you into this spiraling loop of self-doubt. So this was the technique where she just sprayed some of the Dina Wakely gloss sprays on one side of a little piece of uh, paper and then brayered it out. I was like, why have I never thought of this? That is crazy. It worked incredibly well and I totally loved the effect it gave. It was really painterly and well, I mean, you can see, I don't need to describe it. So I'm just mopping up some of that extra uh, gloss spray paint on the craft mat. And please note, I would not have been able to do that on my media mat. Uh, so I am always, from this point on, going to be working on this media mat when I use my gloss sprays. It just may clean up so much easier. So I'm doing the same thing again, and I am working on heavyweight cardstock that I've cut down to size 4x6. I am making some more postcards because I need some more. And I thought, well, why not? And I'm not waiting for the gloss sprays to dry, mostly because, as I've said before, it's getting kind of humid here and nothing is drying. So I'm going to work with the elements rather than against them. And this gives me the opportunity to really play with some of the resist features that the gloss sprays do when you mix them with each other. So it's adding this double cool effect. Y'all, this mop-up tag that I'm creating actually winds up being my favorite, which is usually the case because it's completely organic and I wasn't trying too hard. All right, so I've switched over and rather than starting at the end of the tag, I sprayed it just right there in the middle, uh, mostly because I forgot. That one I am gonna set off to the side because that pink was, I forgot how like bright that pink was and I'm like, hmm. I'm working on a few more and the scrap time video featured like like I said 10 different techniques but I was really only curious uh, with this one. I'm going to use a Dina Wakely technique, a uh, spray and flip and um, okay so the one on the right let's talk about that. That's not okay. It, I don't it just did not come out at all <laughs> like how I was anticipating. So I'm just gonna set those off to the side while I figure out exactly what I'm going to do with it. This one I'm trying to do more of a mixture. I wanted to see what would happen with the brayer and blue and yellow make green so I wasn't too terribly worried about making it muddy. As you can see the green's a little weird colored in a couple of places and that's because I noticed that on the brayer the gloss sprays were really sticky and they it wasn't it wasn't really drying. I had previously stenciled some plain white acrylic paint through a stencil and let that dry before I started this. So that's what you're seeing emerge through the colors. I probably should have clarified that, my bad. So now we're going back to this and that didn't help. I don't know, you know what, you win some, you lose some. We're just gonna give up on that and keep it moving. This one though, I'm trying to tone down just a little bit by adding in some white. Thought, hey, why not? Let's just blot it in some. That didn't really help. So again, we're just gonna set it off to the side to dry. I'm going back to this now favorited and trusty technique. And again, you can see here, this is another one that I had stenciled some white paint through. But this time I'm gonna do a little tone on tone. That's turquoise and marine. And I'm being very gentle because I don't want to get rid of all of that texture that the brayer is creating. I am wiping away some of it uh, just to make the white acrylic paint through the stencil pop just a little bit more. And these are our finished postcards, though I'm only going to do five. 
I have been doing the index card a day challenge for the past uh, 20 some days and I've only been doing collage on the index card so I decided to see if my collage game has gotten any any better so I'm only going to use just the tiniest bit of stamping for focal points and background and create most of my uh, main focal points on the postcards using collaged elements which really if you think about it stamping and then cutting out does does qualify as collage. Anyway, so I'm working on this first one and it, I like how it's coming together, but I feel like there needs to be just a little bit more visual interest in the background. So I'm going to use a stamp from one of the Dina Wakely stamp sets. Check the description box below for a list of the full supplies. I didn't want to commit to it though because I wasn't sure exactly how I would like it, so I stamped right in the middle where I was going to cover it up anyway, even if I didn't like it. And I really, really liked it obviously. So I decided to go ahead and just cover the whole thing. I used an archival ink, but I've noticed it tends to take the archival inks quite a long time to dry over the gloss sprays, and they stay kind of sticky. If anybody else has noticed that, or has a workaround, or if it's just me, uh, let me know in the comments below. So I have my little composition put together, and we're going to scooch that off to the side, and I'm going to start working on my next postcard. Now, I'm primarily just using collage elements, and what I've cut out is a collage inception, if you will. I had made a master board, really liked it, photocopied it, and then I continuously reuse it. However, uh, I, this fought me. I just could not get it to work, and I was growing increasingly more frustrated, so I had to step away. And 20 minutes later, this is where we're at. I completely uh, just abandoned that idea and tried to work that collage element onto a completely different postcard. And you know what? It worked. I cut out some circles to add a little bit more color and visual interest and plan on gluing those suckers down just like that. Now I am working on this one. And as frustrating as that previous uh, postcard was, this one was almost equally so. I decided that I wanted to kind of mimic the earlier postcard that I did, and I'm again just kind of playing around with collage edit elements. Uh, apologize, this part of the video is kind of choppy. Uh, I struggled with this so for so long and went back and forth that it was a lot of editing. I tried to make it as fluid as possible. In the process of trying to fix all that, uh, I again just completely switched gears and applied those cutout pieces to that third postcard. And it would appear that I made the right choice because even looking at this now, that color is so intense. It really, I felt like needed something that was really visually graphic and nothing says visually graphic like stark black against a really bold and bright print. So I just had another stamped element that I cut out and I'm using pieces of previously stamped uh, pieces of paper and like little pieces of washi tape to just kind of create my, my little composition. I think that's what that's called. This last one is my favorite. And if you go on my Instagram and look at some of the uh, index cards that I've been doing, this one really reflects that the most. And I think because it's so simple, um, it's also, I, I, I think it's the prettiest out of all of them. Uh, let me know which one you guys like the most. So I'm going to get all of that glued down. And here are our final finished postcards. Uh, that one, that one's nice. I like that one. That one's probably one of my favorites. I could, you know, that one too. Oh, um, so that one wasn't glued down all the way. Uh, you know what? Accidents happen. Uh, we're just going to fix it right here with some, with some glue. We're just going to glue that down and then uh, pretend like it was perfect to begin with all along. There we go. There it is. That's the finished one. And that's the last one. That's my favorite. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.